Hello and welcome. My name is Angela Sanchez, Artifactos founder and CEO. Artifactos is an eco-exotic statement jewelry business that features hand-woven designs by unprivileged women in Latin America. Our boldly colored pieces are made out of 100% recycled all natural materials like orange peel and coffee beans. Recently, I traveled back to Bogota with WCTV following Artifactos and meeting the artisans behind the jewelry I'm wearing. Please join us in this segment as I take you behind the scenes to learn the labor and technique of Artifactos famous Tawa jewelry and meet Alex, our Artifactos Tawa expert. From Panama to Peru, stretching through Colombia and Ecuador, in the damp, moist tropical forest, you'll find unique palm trees of 20 to 30 feet high, the source of fruits and nuts known as tagua. Here is a little fun fact for you. Did you know that during World War I and World War II, the buttons on the soldiers' shirts were made out of tagua? During the 1920s, an estimate of 20% of all buttons made in the United States were made from tagua. Before modern-day plastic, tagua was the cheapest material cheaper than metal or ceramic. During the Golden Age, tagua was at its most popularity. For over 200 years, tagua was an important material for ivory articles such as dominoes, chess pieces, pipes, and even fine art of scrimshaw. The nut itself is the fruit. When first harvested, the fruit is in its watery state, reminiscent of coconut water. After a while, it starts to harden, turning jelly-like. The wonder comes when the nut is left to dry. Depending on the weather, it may take anywhere from weeks to months for the endosperm to turn solid, the same density as elephant ivory, but much more versatile. So we're going to be following this is Alex. the address yes. that Google gave you, the building yeah. that you saw. No! Why is he crazy? <laughs> he is crazy! He's going to put his face. Hi again! We arrived. This is Alex. Alex is the owner of Export Tower and uh, he works in the Targa industry. And we are here, we are going to show you the process on how a raw nut becomes a beautiful piece of jewelry just like this ring. So how rare are these nuts being harvested? And I know you said you're planting more trees, but since now there's a high demand of tagua and is trying to do good, such as replacing ivory, is this putting a toll into the forest? Cuando no vas portar, hay una entidad gubernamental que se llama el dam. It is all regulated. So it is like when you bring wood, you have to have permits. So the government makes sure that they are not killing trees, it's all regulated, so they can bring just so many amounts of tagua, or you have to have permits to transport tagua from the Amazon to the big cities. This is basically the raw product. The How many nuts are in the one pineapple? ¿Cuántos de estos vienen en una piña? Vienen 25, 18, dependiendo de la piña. La piña puede ser así, o puede ser así de grande. Wow, it goes, it could be depending on how big the pineapple is, mm -hmm. but it could go from 18 to 25. Algunas taguas salen así grandes y otras yeah. salen Some of them are big and some of them are small. Uh, so how long does it take to clean one? ¿Cuánto se demora limpiando una? Una aproximadamente 12 horas. 12 hours. Para quitar la cáscara y quitar el anca, 12 horas.
<laughs> Secado, pintado. This is where they uh, dye them and pinta, dry them. Se saca la pintura. Vamos a hacerlo más fluido. Se saca la pintura. Se seca la anilina. So this is how they paint them. How they color them or dye them. El color que queramos. Like, like whatever color they want. Don't touch it because then you're going to be orange. That's what he said. Okay. That's how they dry it. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo? Se va revolviendo, se va más por 10 minutos más tiempo. Uh, like around 10 minutes, they leave it there to get it dry. Oh, so this particular uh, customer wants it to be three different colors, one piece. Entonces, vamos a difuminar oh. para que quede tairona. Se llama. Okay, so they are gonna polish it so it looks like they call it Tyrona. Let's see what it is. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Limpiala. Limpiala y con tu. Limpiala. Blanco, azul, la cebra natural de la tabla. Ah, so now it is white, blue and brown because it has the natural brown bits. De ahí bajamos a resina. Okay, so now we are going down the stairs to apply the special uh, sealant. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, let's see Okay, después se baja de lo que se hizo arriba y se pone a secar a la sombra, así como están todos los colores. So, after the process upstairs, they bring it down here so it is under, it is covered, and, but they continue the process of drying. Sacamos más de 60 colores diferentes. They have 60, over 60 different colors. Dependiendo lo que el cliente nos pida. Yeah, it all depends also what the customer requires. Luego de esto, se deja el secado, se hace el tairona, y cuando son pequeñas, se cuelgan. Uh, when they have the, when they are small, to put the, to apply the sealant, they hang them this way. So they apply this sealant one allá. by one. Esta se, esta se resinó una por una, uh, ya está resinada. Sí, they did this one by one. They apply the sealant one by one. So here are some tower jewelry pieces featured under artifacts. Thank you so much for watching. From Artifactos, I am Angela Sanchez.